All right, y'all. So, Corona's got the world in a tizzy. And uh, basically, my tournament now that I've been waiting for for months uh, has been canceled. I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not going to just going to deal with it and, and move on. Um, I'm still going to go down there. I think bass fishing in itself is an isolationist sport. It's an open air sport. Corona's got to swim a long way to get me on the water. Going to be inside my camper. Not going to be hanging out with anybody else. Literally, probably the travel down there and back is going to be the most time that I am um, at risk at exposure. Uh, not only that, I checked South Carolina has very low cases to begin with. Um, so good on you, South Carolina. But I still got a lot of stuff to get ready to, to go. But my plan of packing a little bit every day uh, to get to where I was ready fell through. Still working on my bathroom, still trying to get that thing done. Uh, let me haul you over here. Let's uh, get hauled over here. Oh, Palomino camper. Well, see, I got a lot of junk in front of my camper that I got to get rid of. Well, not rid of, but you know, I got to get that moved. Actually, show you something pretty cool. Sears is going out of business. Check this guy out. So they had all their racks and all that kind of stuff in there. And look at that. I'm gonna, I need to take that off. That's gotta go with me. Um, <clears throat> anyway, you know, I bent that one out on purpose. But I got this guy and he's gonna, gonna go, be my like rolling tackle uh, organizer thing. So pretty cool, pretty excited about that. Pretty cool to, to turn that around into something. Looking, gonna be interesting, see what I can do. But you know, it's like 50 bucks. That's awesome. They had a lot more racks that were there and available and I just, you know, picked this one up. I uh, don't want to buy too much stuff for this property because I'm trying to get this property and everything ready for sale. So I can move down to Texas and fish all the time. How awesome would that be? To get to fish with my mama. But yeah, a lot of junk here that needs to get moved. So let's get to it. The other thing is I got stuff in the truck right now. Got to haul that off to the junk. <laughs> All that off to the junk. Gotta haul that off to the junk. Let's get to it. It's good enough. Woo. All right, guys, just in case you haven't seen it, that's the new rig for this year. Right there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Bought that, bought this bad boy with 8,000 miles on it. Put about 7,000 miles on it. That includes a trip to Weedas Marine out, out in Kentucky to pick up my beautiful Skeeter. And it also includes a trip all the way down to Texas. But I don't drive it all that much. There are other vehicles I can drive. Um, so, here we go. Bam, another look at all that junk I gotta get out in front of my camper. I actually gotta pull out my boat first too to get the camper on the truck. This will be the first time I've ever put this camper on this truck but it's part of the reason I bought that truck specifically is to haul the heavy load that I'm pulling behind it. You can do it with a, uh, a 2500 or F250 kind of series, but you know I felt more comfortable because I like to leave in the middle of the night to start my travels down there. So that's what we're gonna do. Whew. One of my favorite features of the old new truck here. There she goes. Just in case you're wondering how I get the uh, camper, tow the truck, or tow the boat and everything right there. Torque lift. <clears throat> Bam. We'll give a more detailed view of it here later on. Laramie Longhorn Edition. She dirty. I use it as a truck, guys. I mean, you got your work gear, some of that right there. Oh, yeah. Toss that in here. I love this thing, though. It is comfortable as all get out. Rides super smooth. Check out my new specs. I got some new specs to wear around when I'm not wearing my contacts. I'm going to start trying to do a lot more of these vlog series. Just kind of, you know, let you know what's going on with me. Let you just, just be a vlogger, too. Not just a, uh, a fishing fishing blogger and fishing uh, YouTuber uh, so got my jersey I don't know if you can see that back there yeah if you can you can but not gonna be able to use that this weekend all right let's get over to the dump go dump this stuff off so I can get my camper in the back gotta roll the thing back there so I gotta do that 
Guys, I know one of the things about owning like a bigger truck is people say, oh, you know, it's gonna bounce you all over the road. Not this truck, not this Dodge truck. I mean, it, it, it handles these bumps and everything flawlessly. So if you're looking to get a vehicle that can haul your camper around, consider the Dodge uh, as far as the soft ride that it has. Uh, that, that other truck that I had, I mean, it was an older truck, so, you know, it was like a 2010, 250. Uh, I felt every single bump, and it definitely was was rattling me over the road, but not this truck at all. But just now making it to the landfill here in Maryland, the dump, the junk. And uh, this place is pretty cool, the way that it's kind of set up and allows you to kind of come in and dump things. So uh, let's uh, let's show you that that's actually where i come and just dump my motor oil so you know it's super easy to change my oil on my boat come in here dump it real fast and uh you know do all my own maintenance it's got it's kind of upper recycling area to where you can dump off things that can be recycled really easily but my truck's pretty loaded so i'm gonna go down the here and dump off at a lower spot morning sir he's got basic trash construction debris so they can dispose of it properly. Bank. Get out of here. You need help getting any of that out? Okay. All right, guys, first run, first uh, thing to get accomplished today is done. Now I can actually get the camper in the back of the truck. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go and do, wash it out, get the rest of these rocks and gravel and all this, all this dirt, do that, wash that out, which, Kind of is one of those things like you think about it coronavirus is people were touching a lot of things probably the nozzle on the spray gun this is literally why i never wash my truck here in maryland i swear the moment i either touch my camper or go to wash a vehicle it rains and the vehicle just gets dirty again ah but anyway i'm just here to clean out the back of the truck let's get to it I tell you guys, I did not have a nice travel cover for my first boat. And let me tell you, it is worth the investment. They can be expensive if it doesn't come with your boat. And you know, the ZX series, I don't believe it comes with the boat, but it's something that if you're planning to get a boat, budget in another thousand dollars. I know, funny, I'll break out another thousand, but you wanna get the the manufacturer's cover it's hard to do with one hand just words of wisdom but it's nice to have this i'm just putting this on loosely right now extremely nice to have though all right guys so you got to move this out off of the wall and in order to do that i built a just platform with some casters on it that will kind of move it out i don't leave it on the casters all the time or anything like that so you know, that's just uh, really helped me do this little shimmy. The shimmy. All right, so this is my first time to ever put this on the truck. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, uh, to be all honesty, honest with you. Um, it's gonna be interesting. I may have to take off my tailgate. Uh, we will see. I'm pretty sure I probably will have to. So let's check it out. <laughs> 